In this video, we'll conduct a comprehensive review and comparison of the best handheld consoles currently on the market. We'll be looking at the Lenovo Legion Go, Asus Raj Ali Z1 Extreme, MSI Clock, and the Steam Deck OLED. Stay tuned to find out which console comes out on top in this exciting showdown. Before starting, please subscribe Digitech Magazine channel to get latest updated video. We start our review by comparing the processors of these consoles. Interestingly, MSI opted for an Intel processor for their console, which sets it apart from the others that use AMD processors. Notably, both Asus and Lenovo have used the same AMD processor, resulting in similar processing performance for their consoles. Benchmark comparisons reveal that the processing power of the Lenovo and Asus consoles is about 2% higher than that of the MSI console, a difference that's not particularly significant. However, the Steam Deck falls behind in this category, with processing power approximately 3.4 times less than its competitors. This stark difference highlights the need for a major update from Steam. Comparing the processing power of handheld consoles is challenging because their graphics processing power is integrated with the main processor. However, by examining similar GPUs and comparing 3 DMARC scores, we can derive some interesting insights. Among the reviewed consoles, the Lenovo has the strongest graphics processor with a 3 DMARC score of 4202, followed by the Asus with a score of 3595. The MSI, which was recently introduced to the market, scores 3077, placing it in third. This indicates it is about 30% weaker than its top competitors. Lastly, the Steam Deck scores 1202, showing it has roughly three times less performance than the others. It's important to note that these benchmarks are just part of the story. The real performance of these consoles will be seen when running games, which we'll discuss further. In terms of memory, the highest MSI model allows the use of 32GB, which creates a significant gap with other competitors, each of which will eventually have 16GB of RAM. However, it should be noted that by using a more developed RAMs, the Lenovo console has about 18% more transfer speed in its memory. In this section, we give the first place to Lenovo, the second place to MSI and the third place jointly to Steam and Asus consoles. To compare the type and size of storage space in the consoles, we've considered the highest model of each. The Lenovo console leads the pack with a 1TB M2 SSD. Close behind, the MSI console also offers 1TB but with an older SSD model, securing the second place. The Asus console comes in third with 512GB of M2 SSD storage. Although the Steam Deck OLED now offers up to 1TB of storage, its slower transfer speed places it last in this comparison. To accurately compare the gaming capabilities of these consoles, we tested their performance at two resolutions, 720p and 1080p. For this benchmark, we used the most powerful processing mode of each console without any power limitations. In Resident Evil 4, the MSI console delivers the best performance, averaging 59 frames per second. The Lenovo and Asus consoles follow closely, both averaging 57, while the Steam Deck averages 45. However, when we examine the minimum FPS, the results differ significantly. The Asus console leads with a more stable performance of 38 frames per second, followed by the Steam Deck at 27. The Lenovo and MSI consoles show a significant drop, with minimum frame rates of 17 and 15, respectively, highlighting their variable performance in playing Resident Evil 4. In Cyberpunk 2077, the Asus console performs best with an average of 59 FPS, followed by the Lenovo console at 54. The Steam Deck takes third place with 42, while the MSI console falls to the bottom with a dramatic 30 frame per second. However, the Steam Deck shows better stability with a minimum frame rate of 34. Notably, the MSI console's minimum frame rate of 3 highlights its fluctuating performance. In Formula 1, the Asus and Lenovo consoles shine with average frame rates of 117 and 109, respectively. The MSI and Steam Deck consoles perform similarly, both averaging 84 frames per second. 
When it comes to minimum frame rates, the Steam Deck leads with 51, outperforming the others. In contrast, the Asus and Lenovo consoles experience significant drops to 19, while the MSI console maintains a relatively acceptable 31 FPS. In Red Dead Redemption 2, the Asus and Lenovo consoles perform similarly, running the game at an average frame rate of 65. The MSI console follows closely with a rate of 62 FPS, while the Steam Deck lags behind at 52. However, in terms of minimum frame rate, the MSI console shows better performance with 37 frames per second. Baldur's Gate 3 presents a challenge for the consoles. The Asus and Lenovo consoles lead with an average of 38 FPS, closely followed by the MSI and Steam Deck consoles at 34 and 30. When considering minimum frame rate, the Asus and Lenovo consoles significantly outperform the others, with 20 compared to the Steam Deck's 8 and the MSI's 4 FPS. Dance off. This one's for the pups. In Dying Light 2, the Asus console takes the lead with 56 frames per second, while the Lenovo and MSI consoles perform similarly at 49. The Steam Deck OLED trails behind with 40. However, only Steam Deck demonstrates successful performance in minimum frame rates with 29 FPS, while other consoles barely reach the rate of 10 frames per second. For a summary of console performance in 720p resolution, considering both average and minimum frame rates, the Asus console emerges as the top performer. Following closely, the Steam Deck demonstrates low volatility, securing the second position. The Lenovo console takes third place, while MSI's performance falls short, resulting in a disappointing fourth place ranking. Due to the Steam Deck's lack of support for 1080p resolution, we'll focus on the performance of the other three consoles at this resolution. In Resident Evil 4, all three consoles demonstrate relatively similar performance in both average and minimum frame rates, with Asus showing slightly better performance. In Cyberpunk 2077, the Asus console takes the lead with a 10% higher frame rate than the Lenovo console. This performance difference is even more pronounced in minimum frame rates, highlighting Asus superiority. However, the MSI console continues to disappoint in performance. In Red Dead Redemption 2, all three consoles perform similarly, providing a decent gameplay experience. In Dying Light 2, all three consoles deliver 36 frames per second. However, the minimum frame rates on all consoles are below 10, making gameplay challenging in some cases. In summary, across the reviewed games in 1080p resolution, the Asus console generally outperforms the Lenovo console, with the MSI console trailing behind. When it comes to screen size, the Lenovo console leads with an 8.8-inch display, followed by Steam with a 7.4-inch display, while the other two consoles feature 7-inch. In terms of resolution, Lenovo's console boasts the highest resolution at 2560 by 1600 followed by Asus and MSI consoles at 1920 by 1080 and finally, Steam Deck at 1280 by 800 the screen frequency of the Lenovo console is the highest at 144Hz, while Steam Deck has the lowest at 90Hz. In terms of brightness, Steam's console offers superior clarity with 600 nits compared to the 500 nits of other competitors. At first glance, the Lenovo console appears to have a superior display, which indeed it does. However, it's essential to consider that some features of these screens may go unused or even have negative effects. Utilizing a higher resolution on the Lenovo console screen not only reduces the console's battery life but also limits gameplay due to lower frame rates. In practical terms, many mainstream games may require reducing the resolution to 1080p or even 720p for optimal performance. Therefore, in terms of display screens, the MSI and ASUS consoles offer more practical features. Additionally, if the Steam Deck could support 1080p resolution, it would undoubtedly be in its most optimal state. When purchasing handheld consoles, the charging capacity is a crucial consideration for many consumers. To provide an accurate comparison, we tested the Resident Evil 4 game in normal graphics mode with 720p resolution on these consoles. 
In our tests, the Steam Deck had the highest charging rate, lasting for 138 minutes. Following closely, the MSI console secured second place with 114 minutes of gameplay. The Asus console ranked third with 90 minutes, while the Lenovo console trailed behind with 84 minutes. It's important to note that the Steam Deck's lower screen frequency and weaker hardware contributed to its higher ranking in this comparison. Conversely, the higher screen frequency and larger size of the Lenovo console led to its lower ranking. When it comes to dimensions, it's evident that the Steam Deck and Lenovo consoles are larger than the Asus and MSI consoles. However, what can truly influence the choice of a console is its design and weight. In terms of design, preferences may vary among users, but generally, the Steam and MSI consoles are considered to have better designed handheld consoles, while the Lenovo and Asus consoles rank slightly lower in this aspect. Regarding weight, the Asus console is the lightest, weighing in at 608 grams, followed closely by the Steam Deck at 640 grams and the MSI console at 675 grams. In contrast, the Lenovo console, weighing 853 grams, significantly deviates from the typical expectations of a handheld console in terms of weight. In terms of controller design, preferences may vary among users, but generally, the Steam and MSI consoles are considered to have better designed handheld consoles, while the Lenovo and Asus consoles rank slightly lower in this aspect. However, it should be mentioned here the different design of Lenovo, which, like the Nintendo Switch, has provided the ability to separate the game joysticks from the monitor. The prices of handheld consoles have risen over the past two years due to hardware upgrades. The MSI consoles, with an official price of $800, and Lenovo, priced at $750, are currently the most expensive options on the market. Asus consoles follow closely behind at $700, with Steam offering a slightly lower price point at $679. Considering the capabilities of the consoles, it appears that the Asus console, followed by the Steam console, offers better value for money compared to the higher-priced MSI and Lenovo options. The arrival of the Steam Deck and Asus consoles injected fresh energy into the handheld console market. The entry of hardware giants MSI and Lenovo further elevated expectations. However, our investigations reveal mixed results for these newcomers. The MSI console impresses with its lightweight design, robust hardware, and appealing screen. However, its underwhelming gaming performance and quick-draining battery position it at the bottom of our comparison. There's hope that MSI can address these gaming performance issues with future updates. The Lenovo console boasts a large, high-resolution display and relatively powerful hardware. However, its average gaming performance, heavy weight, rapid battery drain, and steep price tag hinder its competitiveness. It seems to straddle the line between a laptop and a handheld console. Despite minimal changes, the Steam Deck OLED offers acceptable performance with a suitable design, reliable charging capabilities, lightweight construction, and reasonable pricing. However, its average hardware limits gaming to below 1080p resolution. Steam will need hardware upgrades for future iterations to maintain its market presence. Even a year since its release, the Asus ROG Alley console remains a standout performer. Its solid hardware integration, lightweight structure, and balanced pricing give it an edge over newer competitors. However, its average ergonomic design and tendency to lose charge quickly are areas for improvement in the next generation. Looking ahead, future generations of handheld consoles, including potential contenders like Steam Deck 2 and Nintendo's new offerings, will intensify competition in the market. This competition promises exciting developments in the near future.